Hey guys, I'm out here with my Zenith MP5 and my 9mm Freedom Munitions. And over there I have the RMA Armament SRT plate. And we're going to shoot it and see what happens. So let's see what that did. Okay, so here it is, right where I wanted it, right in the middle. Um, I checked the back and it didn't go through. It's not deformed. Um, so let's put some more down and see what happens. So here it is you can see about 12 13 holes here um, on the top you can see it kind of went um, this is stuck in here the bullet and then one went up this way and it got him kind of lower right neck area so we're gonna take this off and see what it looks like on the back so here's the front of the plate you can see the holes um, we'll turn it around, look at the back. There are some deformities here if you feel it, but as you can see, nothing went through. Um, back over to the front, this shot right here um, penetrated the plate and it, the bullet's actually still in there. Um, and then this one here went over the top of the plate and went into him. So this actually didn't quite hit the plate. So it was a miss from one of the three round bursts. So guys, here we are, we have the plate off. And as you can see in this area, the paint has just kind of rubbed off. It's just from the plate pushing into him. Um, up here, you can see that the paint is chipped off and then there's a little hole. It's because the bullet went over the plate and it went and hit him right here. So this is another reason why you should wear your plate higher up rather than lower down. So the Uzi was unimpressed by the MP5 shooting at the plate, so he wants to go. Okay, so as you guys can see on the rubber dummy, he took some hits here on the lower abdomen. Um, these are just rub marks from the plate and there's a few shots he took here on the side. Um, but on the back of the plate, you can see that none of the bullets actually came through the plate. So uh, there are more than 70 rounds that are in that plate right now. So I'd say that's pretty damn good. Okay guys, so we're back at the house and I just wanted to review um, the plate, as you can see, it's pretty deformed, but if you turn it over to the back, none of the bullets actually went through, and that's exactly what you want to see. So this sort of matches what we saw on the dummy. Um, looking at him, you could see that there were holes below the plate as well as above the plate and on the sides, but there weren't any holes where the actual plate was sitting. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of curious as to what it looks like inside. So let's cut it open. Alright, so as you guys can see that this bullet here was the one that was on the top and it's totally flattened out there. This one as well, it's kind of twisted. And then these are the different layers and you can see it's all caught up in there. Um, you can kind of peel these layers, it's kind of neat. You can see how deep it actually went. So here's one right here, it's all flattened out really embedded in there but it, all these fibers caught it 
and that's the back. So. So the SRT plate is rated 3A plus, and what that basically means is it's rated for handgun calibers, as well as a few rifle calibers with non-steel core. So this wasn't the best test for the plate, but I just wanted to shoot it with my Uzi anyway. Um, I do have another plate and with this one I can test it to its full rating. So if you guys don't mind commenting below, let me know what you liked, didn't like. Um, this is the first time I've ever done a video on testing, um, so I just wanted to get your thoughts on that. Thanks for watching.